Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV. I've got a couple Jayco Elantes right here. I've got a 29S and a 27A. I love both of them, but today let's do a walkthrough video on this 27A. So now we're talking about a small entry-level gas motorhome. This Elante is going to compete in the same space as a Forest River FR3 and various other models in that same trim line, but there's a lot that differentiates a Jayco from those brands and I'll point those out as we go through. One thing I want to point out up on the roof where it just was is it's a one-piece fiberglass roof. At this price point oftentimes you're going to see rubber roofs but this is a one-piece fiberglass roof. Same kind of roof that they put on the high-end diesel pushers. This is a great unit that's got vacuum bonded sidewalls, a lot of high-end appointments that you only see in really higher-end motorhomes. Walking around, you're going to see rotocast storage compartments. Keeps your uh, gear dry, easy to access. And notice these are all slam latch doors and really thick doors too. One thing I like to look at in entry-level motorhomes is how substantial is the storage area and the doors. A lot of times you can take one hand and twist it. It's a pretty stout door on an entry-level gas motorhome. We're on an F53 chassis. V8, and this unit right here has a 190 inch wheelbase. That's significant. When I was doing research for a motorhome for my wife and I, I really kind of hyper focused on wheelbase. The longer the wheelbase is, generally speaking, it's going to handle a little bit better. You won't have quite the turning radius as a shorter wheelbase, but when you have a shorter wheelbase, you tend to get what I call porpoising on a unit that's only, well, this is less than 30 feet long and we have a 190 inch wheelbase. It's a high ratio of wheelbase to overall length. It improves the handling. Now, walking around to the front side of this, come around here and we have another rotocast storage area under here. We have motion sensor lights, which is a neat feature. So when you're loading this guy up, chances are your hands are full and you don't want to fumble around for a light switch you won't have to because those are motion sensor lights. We have two house batteries here. This unit's equipped with solar and it's optioned up with a second house battery. So that'll give you more amp hours to stay uh, off grid without power a little bit longer. Utility area, you got your pump, your hydraulic leveling jacks, and of course your propane access below there. Again, we've got rotocast storage compartments here. They're plastic, so if you were to get moisture in here, it's not going to hurt anything. That's pass-through that goes all the way over to the other side. And again, again motion-sensing motion lights. We have a 4K Onan generator right here. So we're equipped to fire that thing up and power up your AC units uh, and stay comfortable. Now this unit has two 11K AC units front and back of the coach. So even though we're only 30 feet long, you're going to stay comfortable in this. Schwintec slide mechanisms, I'm a big fan of these. They're the most reliable. Our techs like them because they don't break very often. And if they ever do, they're easy to troubleshoot. As the label implies, we have black and gray holding tank valves behind door number five. Black is your toilet water, gray is of course your sink and shower water. Easy to access and get in here, hook up your drain valve for emptying your tanks. All right, this is our utility area. Jayco's really, really good about nicely labeling everything to take the guesswork of how you need to hook this up. If you're going to be dry camping, you simply orient these colored knobs just like the code says. So go through here, winterize city water, filling your water tanks and so on. Now this is a quick connect right here. So if you want to spray off your sandy feet at the beach or whatever, you have both hot and cold right here. We have a whole house water filter behind there. And we can, uh, we've got our low point drain valves housed behind there. A little paper towel holder, handy, because you're back here doing maintenance things. Nice to have that. Again, look how thick that door is, slam latch. Real nice. Again, we're on an entry-level gasser, so even though this is a, a price point entry-level gas unit, it feels like what you'll often see in higher price point units. We've got a backup camera right up there, a tiny little camera that you can see. 
Um, we have a hitch right back here with a seven-way plug. This is a 5,000 pound rated tow hitch. So you can pull a small car behind here safely up to 5,000 pounds. Continuing on to what I call the fun side of the RV, which is where the awning comes out and the picnic table is and the campfire is. A nice big rotocast storage compartment here. And then just forward of that one, a shallow one, but nice shelves. So this is handy. This is on the campsite side, the patio side. So I'm thinking I'm gonna barbecue tools and those kinds of things right in here on these nice enamel shelves. I like that. And golly, there is really quite a bit of storage. Uh, I didn't do my homework enough to tell you how many cubic feet of storage, but it's a bunch. We have these big rotocast storage bins right on the most valuable part of the real estate of this whole thing on the patio side. These are the ones you're gonna be reaching for all the time. You're under the awning, you need charcoal, you need whatever. You're gonna be opening and closing these all the time and I like that Jayco has them right where it really matters. What do we have behind door number, I don't know, what is this, nine, 10? It's a TV and a nice one too with speakers mounted into this whole assembly. So we have an optical drive so you can play a CD in here. You've got the Insignia brand TV and power right here. So if you wanna charge your cell phone, that kind of thing. Really handy and a nice TV right on the patio side, right underneath the awning. All right, we've got, notice embedded inside the mirror assembly are your side cameras too. They're on either side. So when you hit that right turn signal, you're gonna get a nice clean shot of the right side of the coach. It removes blind spots, it's a safety thing. I've learned that when I'm driving, the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glance at my actual mirror. Then I'm gonna down, glance down at my concave mirror. And thirdly, I'm gonna look at the camera on my dash. Once I do those things and I do it every time without even thinking about it anymore, boom, boom, boom. I know that I have removed all blind spots and it's safe to pull over. Uh, I guess I'm a little old fashioned. I wanna see in the mirror in addition to what I'm seeing in the camera. But with that there, it's a safety thing and I like that it's there. Notice we have frameless windows on this too. So these tilt out, they don't slide, they tilt out. So if it comes up a rain shower, you can leave these open and still get nice cross ventilation, even though a shower might come up. Got an LED light strip underneath the awning up there, which is real nice. And got a nice courtesy patio light right there. All right. All right, now we're on the inside of this 27A Jayco Alante. Did you notice what I did? I just spun this chair around. We can do both the driver's seat and this seat. Now, this is one of the beauty things about a Class A motorhome. This all becomes the living space too. In a Class C or a B, your cabin area is really kind of just for driving. But with these, we can spin these seats around and it kind of extends our living area into this space. So, nice table right here. Let me pop this back around. I wanna show you a neat thing about the passenger driving area. We can pull this little extension out. This is a perfect place to put a laptop. If your co-pilot's over here getting directions, uh, ordering you where to stop next at the next Bucky's coming up, they can be doing all that, writing letters to home, postcards to home. It's a really handy little feature. I have USB charging ports up here and household current too so i'm not lacking for power a nice little insert here an anti-slip thing put your cell phone down here and it's kind of grippy so i like that and i like that there's plenty of cup holders there's a cup holder here got a cup holder here in what i call the doghouse area and there's two more on this table insert now you might choose to take this table out we put it up here to display but let's say you just stopped, you wanna make some coffee or have lunch and have this table right here, or going down the road, it's nice and handy to have this so the driver can be snacking on something to stay awake and not have to worry about food being on their lap. Let me hop over in the driver's seat. It's a comfortable driving position on this. And we have a Sony infotainment system right down here. Of course, it's Bluetooth audio, so you can sync up your phone, stream music through this, 
Uh, there's a Sirius XM radio integrated into this, so with a subscription you can be streaming music on Sirius XM. Um, nice driving position. We have shades all the way around. Um, we've got what are things you're going to typically find on a Class A motorhome with our power uh, uh, sunshade in the front. Uh, our generator controls are up here. Remember we have a 4K generator for auxiliary power. We have our equalizer leveling system right here so I can level this unit right here from the comfort of my driver's seat. Automatic leveling. So if you're moving up to a motorhome for the first time, one of the things I bet you're looking forward to is automatic leveling and this has it. Now again, this seat swivels around just like the other one to give you access to the back of the coach. I have drink uh, drink cup holder here and one on my left side, so plenty of places to keep those beverages going down the road. Now up above me, one neat thing about this is that you can sleep multiple folks if you want to. This dinette converts into a sleeping position. The sofa right there does. And then there's a nice big bunk up on top here. A few years ago, Class A manufacturers wised up to the fact that previously only Class C motorhomes had this cab over bunk area for sleeping and said, hey, we can do that in a Class A also. And Jayco did just that. Turn this on and hit this switch, lower this bunk assembly down, and now we have a beautiful 750 pound weight capacity bed up here. Two people can sleep up here comfortably. If it's a single person, there's all kinds of elbow room. I have a ladder up here and little sideboard so nobody rolls out of bed. But that is really handy so I have a nice additional comfortable sleeping position for guests if you ever need it. And if you don't, just lift it up out of the way and you still have plenty of headroom. I'm six feet tall, okay? So I'm exactly six feet tall and I can step under this and not crack my noggin but it is padded here if you're a taller person you're not gonna cause brain injury stepping under this thing but I like that it's real handy now we're in the modern farmhouse decor scheme this has proven to be one of the most popular decors that Jayco does it's sort of an off-white color and the vast majority of RVs that we order from Jayco are in this modern farmhouse now um, I'm always cognizant of the TV viewing angle in any RV. I hate having to sit and look at the TV looking right or left. I've got a nice TV viewing angle right across from my sofa and that's on a televator. So your TV lift is right here and it's powered up and down. So for travel of course you're going to tuck that away when you don't need it. I've got plenty of access to household current. I've also got USB charging ports there. Now, if you're going to sleep in Army and you want more sleeping positions, it's super easy to convert this dinette into a sleeper. You just lift up like so and push this down. Of course, remove these cushions, spread out the cushions, and now we have a nice sleeping surface for a relatively short person, but a child would be no problem at all. Now, over here on this side, if I lift up on the front of this, it's a jackknife, again, decent little sleeping surface if you need it. And if you don't, just pop it up like so. There's a little bit of storage area under there too. Now one thing Jayco's always cognizant of is safety. On Jayco Motorhomes, there is seat belts in every seating position. So not only the captain's chairs in front, we have seat belts here, we have seat belts here, we have seat belts here. That means you don't have to choose which one of your grandkids don't get a seat belt. Every seating position has a seat belt. Moving back into the galley area, remember we're in a not even 30 foot long Class A motorhome and yet there's a pretty decent amount of countertop space up here. Nice countertop material and an undermount stainless steel sink, high rise faucet. Back here we have our little tower of power with our USB ports and household current. So check out this nice backsplash material. It really looks like subway tile, but it's a lightweight alternative. I would love to hear what you think about it. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this backsplash. Let me know what you think about the modern farmhouse decor 
in general. While you're down there writing comments, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if you clicked like and subscribe below. We work really hard. Brian, the cameraman, works even harder than I do to bring these videos to you. So, hey, Brian, big shout out to you. Uh, if there are videos that you would like us to do on a model we haven't done yet, leave those comments down there. We'll do our best to get to those too. A classy little thing that they do is this under counter lighting. I am a sucker for cool lighting things. I like this. I like the lighting that's above the slide room. It's really classy. So at night, it's completely dark, but you just have that. It's just enough ambient light if you're in here watching TV or something. Now we have a three burner cooktop and a modest sized little Furion oven. Turn the light, lights on there. Back lit controls up top here. Nice. Nice size microwave. Now, about, I'll get out of the way here, stepping over. We have our Xantrex inverter. We have a thousand, uh, thousand watt inverter here on this unit. So that means we're inverting battery power into household current that you can use in the event that you don't have uh, access to shore power. Of course, our thermostat controls up here. This is telling me we're on 30 amp service. Uh, right here. Now we have our slide controls, our generator hours and so on, water pump and tank heaters. If you're in cold temperatures you're going to pop those on. All those control things are happening right here. We have 12 cubic foot four door gas electric refrigerator. So you're not going to want for room for all of those groceries that you're stopping and bringing on the trip. So two separate freezer compartments and a double door refrigerator below. Now coming into the bedroom, this is fantastic. Uh, again, we're in a sub 30 foot class A, but I spy a king bed. A lot of times on a unit this short, you're not gonna get a king bed. A lot of us have king beds at home and we'd kinda like to have a king bed when we go out camping or glamping as it were, and we have one here. So this is pretty nice. Um, if I lift up on this, it reveals some storage down here for blankets, shoes, some extra items that you don't need access to quite as often as other things, but you've got access to that. And this is a foam mattress, and I must say, pretty comfy. So, king bed. And we have these little touch lights up here. That's a night light. Hit it again. I can uh, have a nice reading light and not blind my partner over here. Nice storage above each side of the bed again. So for blankets and extra pillows and things, nice to have that up there. Now behind me, I'm really uh, quite impressed with the amount of storage that Jayco's put in a relatively small unit. I've got a bay of six drawers below and I've got all these shelves beside that. This side, they're completely adjustable shelves. So if you want taller items, Maybe you want to put some guitars in there, which is probably what I'd be doing. You can take these shelves out and put those in there. Really handy and quite a bit of storage, again, for a short unit like this. TV right here, so you can be lounging in the bed and watch uh, your TV programming on this Insignia TV. Now notice the thermostat back here. We have two AC units on this. Remember, there's one here and there's one in front. So you're gonna stay comfortable in this, whether you're in Arizona or Texas and where it gets really hot, you're gonna stay comfortable. Hanging clothes with our clothes rod up here and then our two drawers down below here. Brian's camera bag down in that bottom drawer. Now, we've got a corner bathroom on this unit. I love how much natural light comes in here. My wife would love this because natural light's apparently good for putting makeup on. Natural light there, and we have our skylight here above the shower. Medicine cabinet. Uh, you know what? One of my pet peeves is when RV manufacturers don't put a medicine cabinet in the bathroom. You got to have a place for your, uh, your razor and your toothpaste and all that. Right here we have it. Again, undermount sink, stainless steel with a little bit of storage below and a little tilt-out drawer there too. Again, using every little bit of available space. Um, right here we have our toilet that sits on this little platform. It is a porcelain toilet, so I'm really a fan of that. 
and then we have our bath switch lights right here our water heater controls right next to that stepping up into the shower just to give you a spatial reference i'm six feet tall plenty of room in here for me to get done what i need to get done inside of a shower uh, integrated shelving on the side and an adjustable uh right here so really nice i like it we're in a Jayco Alante 27A. There are several floor plans in the Alante uh, trim line. So I would love for you to come out and have a look at this. We'll get you hooked up with one of our great motorhome guys. Let me talk just a little bit about warranties with Jayco before I wrap up this video. With every Jayco product, there's a two plus three warranty. Two years, that's two full camping seasons, covers all the components on this for two full camping seasons and three years structural. That's twice as much as just about all the other manufacturers. And when you combine that with Jayco's already great reputation, it sets you up for worry-free camping. So if you wanna come out and have a look at this in person, love to have you come out. Again, my name is Mike. I'm here at Vaught RV in Fort Worth, Texas again. Click like and subscribe below. Appreciate it if you do that. Check back here often and you'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this. See you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vod RV.